Hi, this is Bart Paulson, and I'm going to show how to do a histogram in StatCrunch for my statistics class. Uh, first thing, of course, is to log into StatCrunch, which I've uh, already done, so I'm signed in. And then we need to get the data set. I'm going to use uh, the survey one that I've used before, which is on StatCrunch. Because it's there, I need to come up to Explore and click on that. And then choose Data from right here. Now I need to search for the data file. I just type in, well I only have to type S because I've used it before and it fills in surveyf08.xls. I click search for that one and it brings this up. There's the data set with the barbershop on it and I can just click on the title or on the picture and it brings up this data set. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a histogram of the amount of time people spend studying uh, in college. So what I do is I first come over here to graphics and I click on that and I go down to histogram. Once I select that I come down and I have all of the variables listed here on the left. Now I can do more than one of them at a time but it causes problem with the titles so I'm only going to use one right now. I'm only going to use study and I don't need to do the where to select just some of them or a group to break it down. Don't want to deal with that. But I am going to click next. Uh, I can do a frequency or a relative frequency or a density chart. Uh, they all look the same. It's just a matter of what numbers are printed on the axis. I'm going to use a frequency because I find it to be pretty intuitive. Now I can start the bins, which means how uh, thick, how wide each of the bars are. I can choose where to start it. I can choose how wide they are. I'm not going to worry about either one of those right now. I go to next. If I want to, I can put a normal curve over it. I might as well do that for right now. So I click normal. And if I, it asks what the mean and standard deviation should be. This is in case, for instance, I know that the distribution has a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15, like uh, the IQ distribution is. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. If I leave it alone, it uses that particular sample's mean and standard deviation. I'm going to click Next, and this is where I put on Labels and Titles. What I'm going to put right here for the title across the top is Hours of Studying Per Week for Students in Stat Crunch Oops, Survey. There we go. Uh, I'll see about the labels a little bit later. Actually, I know that the bottom one's going to need this. Hours of study, oops, of study per week. Here we go. Hit next. And since I'm only doing one chart, I don't need to worry about these. I just come down here and I click create graph. And there's the histogram. Across the top, hours of studying per week for students in StatCrunch survey. Hours of study per week. Um, there's the frequency and there's the curve and I can see it's a little bit skewed. Um, that's not too surprising. Most people aren't studying a huge amount. We may have an outlier up here. I will do a box plot a little bit later to check for that. Um, now if I want to, I can change the width of the bins. These actually look pretty good, but just to show what I could do if I wanted. I could go to edit and from there I could back up to bin width, and I could, for instance, make the bins uh, five hours wide. Right now they're two and a half. If I do that, it looks it's pretty chunky. It's it's a little weird. I don't want to do that. I could also break it down even more if I wanted. I could go to one hour, and now it's way too jagged. The default that it had on this particular time around, which was it looked like it was two and a half, seemed pretty good. So I'm going to go with that one. And then when I'm done with that, I just need to save it. I can export and I put histogram of hours studying per week. And export that. It shows up over here on this list. And there we go.